Hi, this is Sabrina from Wildlife X Team, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about dingoes. Now, historians aren't sure whether the dingo was ever a domesticated pet or whether they have always been wild creatures. There isn't just one type of dingo. There are actually three varieties. Um, a reddish golden dingo in the desert areas, the alpine dingo in the wildest parts of Australia, and the northern dingo with its finer built. Another name for dingoes is a warrigo. Many of the cattle dogs and kelpies in Australia are part of dingo due to breeding throughout the years. They have flexible wrists just like humans do. They can turn their heads 180 degrees to help them hunt and to look out for their prey. Much more than, they are much more like wolves than they are to dogs. A female dingo will actually eat the um, droppings of their offspring. Any leftover food they may have, they bury it to eat later. In a pack of 12 dingoes, there is usually a male and a female who are the strongest and will mate in order to reproduce for the entire pack. If any of the other females um, end up producing, um, more pups than the strongest female will then kill them because she would rather everyone else carry or care for her offsprings than their own. The puppies are usually targeted by snakes. Even though they look scary, they aren't often seen um, targeting humans and are much, much more likely to run away from you. While dingoes are unique to Australia, the United States has the pariah dog, which can be considered to be our version of the dingoes. You guys have a great day.